check it out we in the middle of the woods had to drive a little ways from the house today but we are way back up in a creek i think there's gonna be some rare fish in here that's all i'll say maybe we'll catch one in a minute hopefully they're gonna be right the water's a little bit lower than i was anticipating but it's got to put them somewhere all we got to do is get in here fish around for a little bit and kind of figure out where they're sitting because when you have current which is what we're fishing today is a lot of current the fish have to set up in certain little areas so we're doing a little bit of a backwoods bass fishing today in my aluminum boat a little tin rig way up a creek might get a bite or two we'll just see how it goes had to drive a little bit from the house today go somewhere that i've only been one time see if we can catch them better this time Oh, I missed him. A decent one, too. He just didn't really get it good. See if we can get him to come back on it. Mm, that looked like a different one. Mm. Looked like a different one. Pick up my little jig and see if he'll eat that. Feel like a pound and a half, pound three quarter one back in there. The first one it bit. All right, that cast is supposed to be it. See what we can do with it. Well, what you gonna do with it? Get hung. That's what I'm gonna do with it. One thing about going to these kind of places that are a little bit of work to get into, a little bit of work to get to, you gotta drive a long way, stuff like that, is it's so rewarding just to catch a few fish. I don't have to come out here and catch 20. Like if I went to my small little local lake right by the house, if I go out there and catch two fish, I'm gonna be like, man, that was terrible. If I come over here and catch a couple fish, I'm like, you know, that was pretty daggum fun because I like getting a little bit back further than people go, catching some fish that are a little bit less pressured putting in a little bit more physical work and getting us a bite or two that's just to me it's a lot more rewarding it doesn't work in tournaments because it's just too much time too much effort and then you don't typically catch a lot of fish but you're just fun fishing it's all good something to, something to play around with something to experiment with have a good time catch you a rare bass or two This is just such a pretty spot too. This been nothing but mud and sand and there's a rock. 
It's a super obvious spot there's supposed to be a daggum bass in. All right, now, down this entire bank, if I had to pick one cast where there's going to be a fish, it'd be that one right there. The rest of it looked good, but that right there looks right. Mmm. Might as well go home. If there ain't a fish right there, you in trouble. Straight up just in trouble. Dang, it's supposed to be a bass right there, man. All right, let's give it another cast, right to the juicer. It's crazy how at every different water level, the current kind of bounces off of the current breaks differently. So whenever you have high water, you know, these little points might not be as much of a current break. And when you have low water, there might be a current break ahead of these little points that actually make it where the current's deflected before it ever even gets to these points. So at every single water level, it just changes exactly what catches the current. It's very, very interesting. It's one of those ever-changing things of bass fishing that so much fun to figure out whenever you can whenever you can figure it out and like i said when you're in somewhere like this a lot of times figuring it out doesn't mean you catch 20. a lot of times figuring it out means you get a couple bites i'm good with that man big rocks and a jig sometimes it's easy sometimes it's tough today the rocks are eating my jig pretty good. And I only brought one jig. So, need to not lose it. Come on, big. That's a pretty one, dude. Barely got him, though. That is a Lost River Lure spinnerbait. Make some of the best ones I have found, so I get him to make me some of them. Two pounder. That's awesome. So we came in here for rare bass that is a rare bass so if you hear me say rare bass that's what we're referring to oh i missed it i think they're eating the blades because i hooked that one in the chin Them right in the chin.
spotted bass. Catch it all. Beautiful little spot. They're so pretty. In the wintertime, fish are just like as pretty as they get. They got pretty colors. They're healthy looking, no sores on them, typically. And, you know, they're fatter than average. Just a good time. If you like bass, they look really good in the winter. Another little spotted bass. Take it easy on my spinnerbait now. Look at them. They're just like flawless in the wintertime, even though that's a small one. They're just like flawless right now. And it don't get any more standard than just winding a dadgum spinnerbait around. That's just like as standard as it gets. Just normalcy out here. Little shoal bass. Oh, sorry, buddy. Look how pretty they are. That won't be a little pit. Big and oh, that's a pretty one. These things fight so hard, dude. Pretty one right there. Oh yes, sir. Look at that little meatball. That one's probably two and three quarters, two and a half. It's a good one there. Look at that black spot on him. That is freaking awesome. That's a beautiful one there. Beautiful shoulder. Gotta get the mud off my shoes get a little bit of better traction you know I ain't ran out on rocks like this in years man used to do it a lot though when I was a young buck Y'all do me a little bit of a favor. Watch for snakes for me. Let me know if you see one. Something. I'm worried about the boat floating away. 
But I think I... Did pretty decent with it. Oh, just got a bite. We let it go. Probably a little one. Probably a little one. <laughs>